Hey, welcome to Meg's Diabetes World. Well, today we are continuing our DKA talk. Oh no, I went through my story and I can tell you when I first started getting DKA, things were fine. You know, I would get it. They'd hook me up, they'd give me the liquid, sometimes the potassium. I would sleep the day away. And then all of a sudden, I was fine. Yeah, right. And I thought, this is nothing of it, you know? Now, I have learned the harsh truth. You don't want a DKA. Everyone who's a type 1 diabetic has been through a DKA. You just didn't know it at the time. Isn't that something? When you were diagnosed, when you were thirsty, urinating, um, irritable, tired, oh God, were you ever tired? That was DKA. And as you progressed, your body tried to get rid of the ketones so you start going to the bathroom a lot and when you start going to the bathroom a lot well then the more great things happened so what can we do well first of all if you wake up or throughout the day and you're really starting to feel like crap to me, it's always felt like I've having the flu, but I never, uh, I'm never sick, but it feels very nauseated, but not throwing up. If you reach the point of throwing up, then you have a problem. And I can remember, as a kid, I would do this quite often. Not often, sorry. I should say, I went to a birthday party. And it was a sleepover, and the next day we got, um, Fruit Loops breakfast. I thought, great, you know. I thought I was doing good. You know, I took my insulin, but there was way too much food and after a while I completely forgot about it and you know what I went into DKA except I didn't know DKA I was throwing up however I didn't know I had to go to the hospital so I stayed home and took insulin I seem to remember taking it, quite a bit of insulin without the aid of a glucometer now looking back at that isn't that kind of stupid 
why would you do that? But I did it. Yay. And since that time, I've kind of been aware a little bit more of what DK can do. I told you about the time I went to a party, got sick. Everyone thought, oh, well, he's drank. And it was a dry party. So, you know, I didn't drink, but hey, I need help. But over time, I was looking for work and things just didn't happen and my parents you know were putting the pressure on you got to find a job got to find a job and I didn't and I started I finally found a job at 7-Eleven it was just a store person like uh I think we would call them clerk or something, sales clerk, that was turned to sales assistant. But we have to work out things. And I can remember I was put on graveyard and I kept getting sick. And the reason for this was I didn't... I didn't take care, you know, I wasn't taking my correct amount of insulin. I really wasn't using my glucometer. You know, you went to the doctor and you said, are you using your glucometer? Oh, yes. And then the hemoglobin A1Cs came out. So I was always sort of hovering. That's my hovering. Around the DKA mark. And... I would have lows, I would have highs, and I can remember coming home, I didn't eat anything when I came home, I'd go and I'd turn on the TV and watch some TV, and I'd fall asleep, and I woke up, and I was just drenched, so, you know, of course you gotta eat. And then you eat too much, and your blood sugar goes up, and oh, it could be a cycle. Then I started saying, okay, I'm going to take good care of myself. And I started to take good care of myself. Things didn't work out that great. I don't know why, but they just didn't. So... <sighs> While we all recognize, oh my god, I'm going low, well, most of us do, you can sit there and you can go high and you can be obstinate and, oh no, I'm not high. Blah. And I sort of remember getting back to my story earlier the ambulance driver saying, Do you want to go to the hospital? And I could have said, Hell no! But I'm really glad I did. And my friend stepped in and said, yes, he needs to go. But awesome. So why do we have to be so concerned? If you start showing any signs of the DKA, you know, the drinking a lot of water, high blood sugars, um, urinating a lot, feeling sick, contact your doctor, contact your diabetes nurse, your diabetes education center, and at last resort, or if you're throwing up, go to emergency. You need to go get taken care of. Don't play around with your health. And a lot of people feel, oh well, yeah, I'll go to bed, I'll sleep it off. I'll feel better in the morning. DKA, like mine, 
can sneak up on you. I can remember in the hospital, they put me back on my pump, and all of a sudden my blood sugar started to rise. And the doctors would say, oh, well, we'll give you 10 units of insulin. That's not going to do anything for me. Oh, but we don't want you to go super low. And it just ended up, I tried to correct, it wouldn't work, the 10 units didn't work, and I ended up through the roof. That last time was the absolute limit. I don't want to go through DK again, and I keep trying not to. Today, for example, I started getting high blood sugar, but I wasn't thirsty. And so it, I guess it didn't have much time. But I started taking the insulin, started doing my blood sugar, and now I'm around 7 point, or was around 7.8. Let's just see what the hell I am right now, shall we? I'm at 9. I don't know if you can see Hi. that. I can help with that. One option I see is Starbucks on Kingsway. Want to try that one? No, I don't want to try Starbucks on Kingsway. Sorry about that. You... The second is Wade's <sighs> Coffee House on Edmund Street. A little over a kilometer to your east, and it gets 4.0 stars. It's open today, from 7 o'clock to 1900 hours. Sorry, just one sec. Does that one sound good? No. The third is Joe Stop. D. Stop. On Gilly Avenue, about a kilometer to your north. So, that was my phone. I had to, got a few little pieces of equipment. So, if you show any signs, get to a doctor. Get some prescribed. You may need IV fluids, which unfortunately means that you may have to go to the hospital. But don't be stupid with your health. And remember, you control diabetes. Diabetes does not control you. Have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye now.